think under the options we have tonight to vote that we're uh, in a position to, to modify with all the concerns that we have right now. And, and, I, and I understand that, and that's why, you know, I guess what I'm proposing is that we actually table action on this until we're able to sit down, you know, uh, each of us could, you know, okay, I believe that this should be put in and then have the discussion on it that way because I'm sure your thoughts and concerns don't necessarily echo my thoughts and concerns about what should or should not be in the conditional use permit. Okay, Mayor. so, yes, also sir? Also, Mayor and Council, just... Clint, you correct me if I'm wrong, but if you do reverse the Planning Commission decision, then there is a waiting period. That's right, right. I just wanted to make sure you understood that, and I believe that's six months. And, and I essentially. And and it, now hold on, folks. What what it we're would, talking about it here? It would be uh, it would give you opportunity to develop your conditional use right. permit to a point where you're, you're can, ready to vote and make a decision one way or the other. And another thing I would offer to you or ask of you is that clarity needs to happen in, to, for your staff to be able to prepare that because so the ideas, I think we're garnering what you're driving at. I'm hopeful, hopeful, hopefully we are, but we need pretty good clarity to, so we can get it in a document or Kevin can get it in a document um, in conjunction with, uh, uh, with the staff so you have something to act on it at the next meeting. Okay, so. So I, I'd ask for clarification. It, it is indeed six, a six month waiting period if the if we act planning commission on the, decision is yeah, reversed. Yeah, what, you, right, you're months. right, right. I, I believe, I, I believe we have the ability, well, let me say this first, we can't wait six months. This, this is something that needs to be acted on for both sides. I believe we have the ability to take this to a subcommittee and lock down the site plan, or at least come up with the items in the site plan that we feel need to be addressed. And if those can be addressed, I think then we would get to a point where we could have an up or down vote um, to accept or reject. As was, I believe, a little bit of your, I'm assuming, Jim, Councilman, I was assuming that you, in your ability or your, your thought of tabling this would allow for that to happen. Am I assuming more than I should be no, assuming, uh, Councilman? Uh, Mayor, you, you, I feel that you are correct that way because if, or that, you know, paraphrasing what I was saying is that, yes, I believe we need to table action on this and uh, one, have a current not changing on 24 hours before our meeting site plan. Uh, two, um, uh, I, I think there needs to be a little more specificity, uh, especially in items one and two, um, as to what's considered operation. And, and then three, uh, you know, the, the people either in opposition to it or, I mean, by no means does tabling action on this mean that it's going through. Um, you know, it's, because it, it, if, if it came down to where you had to make a decision right now and this is the only things that we can live with, I'm not so sure that this body would, would be able to support it. So right now we have a motion on the floor with no second. So the legal Ma way to do this, go ahead, Josh. Councilman Moaning, I'm sorry. Uh, given given that discussion and still noting and echoing some of the things that Jim said about lack of specificity in the site plan and then a significant amount of work that needs to get done um, uh, th that said I would uh, with mo withdraw my motion to re to uh, consider reversal of the Planning Commission's decision and instead make a motion to table the issue I would second that. All right. We have a motion on the floor with a second to table for further review to be able to come up with a clear visual of the site and as well correction maybe or addition, clarification. Councilman Merrill, I can see you're perplexed. It's my nature. I know. <laughs> um, 
let me back out of this for just a second and, and ask you, Josh, to table this to subcommittee. To subcommittee level. All right. And if that were the case, then I would I would second that. And then are you saying not only to work on the site plan, but get the specifications in there that the conditional use permit? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are we all okay with the way we're doing this? I mean, I, I understand that I, there's a, a motion that's been seconded. Now we're going to amend that emotion a little bit to say we're going to do this as a subcommittee. And I just want to make sure I'm legal because the last thing we need is for us to throw us into a situation that we don't want to be in. So I think the issue before the council is the resolution. I think you should take action on the resolution to act on version A, B, or C, or to table it, as you've talked about. And then once you've done that, I think you can either direct tonight or whatever process you want to utilize, whether you want to, uh, you know, the act of tabling does not normally put that to a subcommittee. If you want okay. to utilize a subcommittee <coughs> process to develop uh, Can't that be the purpose for tabling for us to make decision on how we go forward? I think that's fine. Yes. Okay, so we have a motion on the floor to table with a second that will then allow us to go forward to be able to have further discussion on how it is that we clear up, clean up, and have a clear picture of how we go forward. Agreed? Yes. Does your second still stand? My second still stands. Okay. Any further discussion before I ask you to vote on the motion and second? And a, and a vote of yes is to table. To table. A vote of yes would be to table. So with that, please vote. All council, all council members voting in the affirmative. Councilman Clausen abstaining. Motion to table carries. Phew. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything else on the agenda. So with that, we're adjourned. <laughs>